Hey everyone, I'm Ruth. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm drawing a toadstool or mushroom with you. First, we will be painting the background with soft pastels and then draw the toadstool in colored pencils. So, if you want to learn how to draw this autumn scene, let's get right into the tutorial. I start by taping my paper to the surface. And then I draw the outlines of the toadstool with a white pastel pencil. I use a Caran d'Ache pencil for this, Chinese white. Then I start painting the background with my soft pastels. I use various dark colors in the corners. I use black, dark green, lighter green and brown. And I blend it out with my finger. At this point I'm just blocking in colors and I'm not paying so much attention to what I want the painting to look like in the end. I'm just painting in the basic colors and blend it out with my finger. I want the background to look a little blurry, so that's what I want to achieve, a blurry effect. And that's why I'm blending out all the colors, I'm blending them together to achieve that blurry effect. And I want the toadstool to stand out. So that's the only part of my painting, drawing, in which I will put a lot of detail. And for the rest I'm just keeping it blurry and not so detailed. So now I have all my colors blocked in and I start darkening up the painting and putting some detail, uh, some grass and some plants and I'm blending the background out with a pan pastel tool. You can also use your finger, or a soft tissue, or a q-tip, whatever you want. And here I'm drawing in some grass. Not too much, just a little bit. And now I'm drawing with a pastel pencil. I'm drawing in some bokeh background. I just draw some circles and fade them out a little. And here and there I draw some more grass and tiny leaves. But I keep it really simple because I really want the toadstool to stand out in the end. 
And now I start with the Toads tool. I use my Polychromos pencils for this, my Faber-Castell Polychromos, and I use various shades of red to draw in the Toads tool. And my Polychromos white. And um, it is really easy on this paper. I use um, pastel matte paper to draw with Polychromos pencils. It almost feels like pastel pencils. The only thing is that you cannot blend them out so easily. But it's really soft and it feels really nice to draw with Polychromos pencils on the pastel matte paper. And again, for the Toad's tool, I use various shades of red. And for the dots, I use my Polychromos white. And for the shadows, I use the Polychromos black. And I use some ochres and browns to make them look realistic and make them stand out. And um, that makes that it does not look like the dots are on the same level as the toads tool itself, but that they are on top of it. So they really stand out when you put a lot of shadow and different colors on the dots. Now I work a little more on my bokeh background. And again, I'm just drawing in some circles and blend them out. And I use various colors for this light blue and green and some black to define them more I work a little more on my background and I use my Faber-Castell Polychromos a little bit on this. I use the soft pastels, the Rembrandt soft pastels and the Caran d'Ache pastel pencils together and they work very well together so that's really nice. So I add some highlights and some shadows to the background. And again I keep it very simple because I want the toadstool to stand out and the background to be in the background. And as I said before, with pastels it's really easy to correct mistakes, so don't be afraid to experiment with the background. If you don't like it, you can just go over it, blend it out and you can correct it very easily. So, now I go on with my toadstool and draw in the red on the toad's tool and I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the pencil I just use a light hand and on the pastel matte paper it is not necessary to put a lot of pressure I get a really nice bright color just by drawing with a very light hand and I can layer a lot on this paper, it's really nice, no problem, it's not saturated very quickly. I uh, can layer a lot, so I use a little purple here for the shadows and some black, darken it up. 
and I use an orange for the highlight on the toadstool and my polychromos white as well and again for the dots I use my polychromos white and grey and some ochres just to make them stand out and the polychromos black for the shadow underneath the spots So I keep working on the dots with my white, my ochres, my brown and the black for the shadows. And one of the nice things about working with colored pencil on pastel mat is that you can work from dark to light and uh, you can put a highlight on top of a darker area. And normally it's really uh, difficult to do that, it's almost impossible to put white up on a darker area. But on the pastel mat paper it works really well. As you can see here, I'm drawing with my white on the red of the toadstool. And for the stem of the toadstool I use my polychromos white, some grey, some black, some brown for the shadows. And I draw in some more grass in front of the toadstool. It's a little harder to go over the polychromos with pastel than with polychromos over pastel. So, and here I draw in the highlight and some more red on the hood of the toadstool. Some darker red. And some orange highlighted area. And as I said before, it's very easy to go with a lighter color over the darker areas. I add some more shadow and some little details on the background. some more details on the dots with my polychromos white and then I'm ready to take off the tape and this is the final result
Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get informed when a new video comes out. You can leave a comment down below and of course you can share my video with all your friends. Thank you. Bye.